In the current video lecture series, we are studying the subject of physics group 1. Till now, we have learned what is the basics of stress and strain, stress strain curve, and few concepts of elasticity with basic definitions of inductivity, elasticity, and plasticity. Also, we have discussed about the brittleness and factor of safety and working stress. Now, in this video, we will learn how to derive the equation of a time period of a torsional pendulum and work done in stretching of Y. So, let's start with the first topic of today's session that is torsional pendulum. But before moving further, let us first of all discuss what is a torsion and torsional rigidity. The twisting of an object due to the torque is known as a torsion. If you twist some object, let us consider this to be object. If you twist it by applying a couple of forces or the torque, as you can see in the figure as well as I have shown it. So that is nothing but the torso. Now this material is because of the inertia it will oppose the twisting moment. Okay? So that is the total amount of resistance a cross sectional has against the torsional deformation is known as a torsional rigidity. Because of the inertia, it will resist the torsional moment. So that is the torsional rigidity. <coughs> so let us discuss about a torsional pendulum first. A heavy disc suspended from one hand of fine wire whose upper end is fixed is known as a torsional pendulum. When the disc is turned about the axis of the wire, the wire exerts a torque on the masses of the disc that tending to rotate it back to its original position. If the twisted and released, the mass will oscillate back and forth and demonstrate the simple harmonic motion. This is the angular version of the bouncing masses hanging from the spring. If theta be the twisting angle, then the restoring couple setup is given as C theta. For a small change of the twist, the magnitude of the couple is directly proportional to the angle of the twist. Here you can see in the figure I have shown if the twist is given. Okay, you can see the animation. It is a GIF and you can see the animation. The twisting couple is set. And the disc is right now oscillating. Okay? So, the tau is proportional to the theta. Okay? Now, tau is equal to minus c theta because my negative sign indicates the restoring forces. Okay? And over here, c is nothing but the torsional rigidity. So, the equation of the rotational motion of the system is given by tau is equals to i into d square theta by dt square. Okay. Where i is the moment of inertia. From the equation 1 and 2, i is equals to d square theta by dt square is equals to the minus c theta. We have played, we have compared the equations 1 and 2. So, 
the concluding equation becomes the d square theta by dt square is equal to minus c theta by i. So the restoring couple leads to the angular acceleration if it is the angular acceleration alpha is given by the equation alpha is equals to d omega by dt. Now placing the value now d omega by dt is nothing but d square theta by dt square okay which is equals to minus c theta by l. So on subjecting we get minus c theta by l is equals to i alpha. So make angular acceleration as the subject so alpha is equals to minus c theta by i. This equation represents the angular acceleration alpha of the disk is proportional to the displacement okay displacement that is the angle of twist theta. So this is the simple harmonic motion. So for that we have the equation alpha is equals to minus omega square theta. So we have minus c theta i is equals to minus omega square theta. You can see over here I am marking it. Okay. So by the marking you can see this equation. Now on subjecting the value of the omega, so we get the omega square is equals to c upon i. So we get omega is equals to under root c upon i. First we have got omega square and thereafter taking square from both sides, we get omega is equals to under root c by i. This is nothing but the time period of the a both simple harmonic motion can be determined by t is equals to 2 pi upon omega. So by subjecting t, t is equals to 2 pi into under root i by c, placing the value of omega in this equation. So the above equation gives the time period of the torsional pendulum. Now, moving further. Now, next topic is Werther in stretching of Y. Let force F be applied to a wire of length L and stretch produced is small L and if the cross sectional area is capital A then strain is given by change in length upon the original length so strain is equals to small L upon capital L and stress is given as force upon area so we know that the Young's modulus can be given by Longitudinal stress upon longitudinal strain F into L upon small L by A. So now the work done in stretching the wire by mock DL is given by DW is equals to F into DL. So the total work can be derived by integrating over the entire length. So total work W is equals to integration DW. So now integrating DW for the entire length from 0 to L we get integration 0 to L and subjecting the value of DW as F here. Now placing the value of F is equals to Y A L upon capital L. So we get the equation integration 0 to L Y A L D L upon capital L. So on integrating we get the equation 
of total work as y a l square upon 2 l. Now we know that the value of force is given by y a l by capital L. So we get the equation of total work done is W is equal to capital Y two. So in the next video we will learn to calculate the twisting power on the cylinder or the wire shaft for both solid and hollow material. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.